folks we're right here in the streets of the bronze this is math for the bronze and today we're going to look at infinite steps okay so let's ask this uh this individual right here so this is my hand and this is my cheek i'm gonna slap myself by taking steps from my hand to my cheek now how many steps do you think it'll take to slap myself normally it should take one step from the brain but i could be three okay so he says one or three yeah one to three Okay, one to three steps. Okay, let's see how many steps it takes. Ready? First, I'm gonna go halfway from my cheek to my face. Ready? Halfway. Okay, I'm halfway there. Okay, that's one step, right? Okay, now I'm gonna go a quarter of the way. 25%, right? Okay, okay, that's two steps. That's two steps. Okay. One eighth of the step. Okay, that's three steps. He's already beaten. All right. One sixteen. I broke your record, right? You said three. I'm four steps already. Okay, I just said one eighth. Okay, one sixteenth of the way. One sixteenth of the way, right? One thirty second. One sixty four. What comes next? What comes next? Quick math. Who can say it? One twenty eight. So would he? Would he ever be able to slap himself? Am I gonna reach my face ever? Bro, I'm never gonna it yeah, I'm making it. I'm never gonna reach my face, right? It's taking an infinite amount of steps. Yeah. Unless I, boom, that's one step. Yeah. But, but how does that make sense? I just showed you it should take an infinite amount of steps. Uh, it's more like you gotta be. What's the word for it? Uh, Folks, welcome back to the Slab Paradox. Now we're back to asking the same question that you saw me ask on the field. And what was that question? The question was simple. How many steps will it take to slap my face using my hand, all right? Now, you remember that I started off two meters away, right? And then I went one meter, right? Half the distance. And then I went another half the distance. A uh, half the distance. And then I went another half. And another half. And another half. You get the picture. Now, the question is simple. How many steps to slap my face? To slap my face all right and to answer this question we're going to use some math okay so don't get scared it's going to be some pretty simple math you remember that i started by taking one meter and then i traveled another half a meter and then i went another quarter a meter and so on and so forth right 116 blah 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 right now, how can we find the sum, right? Another way to ask this same question, another way to ask how many steps to slap my face is asking, what's the sum of this? Well, let's find out. To add all of this infinite sum, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set it equal to some variable. Let's call it S for sum, all right? Now I'm gonna take half of this variable. You're gonna see why in just a moment, all right? So half of S is gonna give me what? Well, one times a half is gonna give me a half. Likewise, half times a half is going to give me a fourth. A fourth times a half is going to give me an eighth. And so on, right? So on. Now, you notice that I didn't put any signs yet. Here, that's because I'm going to subtract these two. I'm going to do S minus half of S. All right? And why will I do that? Well, check, check, uh, check what happens, right? If I subtract all of these, half minus a half, boom, goes to zero. Fourth minus a fourth, boom, goes to zero likewise for all of the others right so we're left with what s minus half of s is just half of s and that's equal to one right so if half of s is one that means s itself is equal to two but what does that mean well s equals two means that i start off my my hand starts off two meters away from my face right but even though i start off a finite distance from my face it's gonna take an infinite number of steps to get to my face. So check this out. There's a finite distance from between my cheek and my hand, but it will take an infinite number of steps to get from my cheek to my hand. All right? So that's the resolution to the slap. All right, folks, so we just completed the math part. Now comes the physics, right? How can I chop up a finite distance into an infinite number of pieces? That's the physics question. And I want you to answer it with a video response. Make sure you send it to me by the end of August, okay? And it has to be less than two minutes, okay? Now you might wanna ask your physics teacher or your math teacher before you do this, but make sure the video is sent before August 
30th, okay? And make sure you answer the pivotal question, which is how do I chop up a finite distance into an infinite number of pieces? Folks, recently we started the Math for Bronze movement. Please join.